How's he doing guys? Just a little video about a Vox uh, Cambridge 30. I bought this at a charity shop and it was never working basically from day one when I got it. So I sent it away to a tech to get fixed and the tech obviously didn't have a clue what he was doing and he ended up putting a load of these little resistors in as you can see and result being that every time I touched the volume button even as far as number one it would take the absolute head off you so I knew it wasn't right so he opened up the amp and um, I spotted all these had a look on the internet and found out that there's a common problem with these amps where the opto coupler goes and what the opt opto coupler is it's a little component that works the tremolo but when it goes all power to the amp nearly like 90 percent of the output uh, gets lost so um i'll just show you there's a little um there's a little alternative piece you can get for these amps and i got this from thonk.co.uk as you can see it's a vtl 53c it's meant to be a much better part if you replace it with the part that was already in it the same one or type um it's just going to go again because the that's what the problem with them is so i'll just show you this part if you go over to um your volume for your gain channel You'll see behind that that there's a little black thing here with a yellow dot on it. That's the opto coupler. Now this is the new part that I fitted and everything's working 100% fine. So get yourself one of them. R remove the old one and put this in. And make sure that you get the LED part of it. Uh, facing the way that I have it in the amp here. Which is when... The amp itself is facing away from you like this. This is the back of it. Um, this would be it. And the LED is this right hand side of it here. Near these here two things. And another guy showed me on internet as well. If you if you adjust these a little bit. This here one in particular gives you a bit more output. Um, I don't know if that's going to damage the amp or whatever. So do it at your own risk. But I done it and it works. So I just thought I'd let you know that in case some of you has got one of these out there and can't get it working and don't know what the problem is. So there you go guys. Um, that's all I have to say on it. Oh, by the way, um, if you're not used to working on amplifiers or opening them up, uh, I would advise extreme caution and I'm not going to be responsible for anyone that does open one up and manages to do away with themselves because this is extremely dangerous these uh, capacitors here store power and if you do happen to touch one of them there's a good chance that you could get a good shock from it maybe even kill you so do learn how to decharge these if you're going to open an amp okay um just thought i'd um let you in on that little um thing and good luck and don't be afraid to subscribe. Okay. Uh, Demo 690 here. Thank you.